All right, so the um, the guy working at the front of the uh, junkyard told me that I have to get uh, 05 to 06 CRV parts. I can't get anything from Element because it won't match up. So epic fail for today, I guess. And the part that I needed for the Sonata, no good too. That's all messed up. So I'm pretty much just going to wander around right now with a bag of goodies. Put the tools to a good test. That was a fail. All right, so Cobalt can handle it. Let's see if Milwaukee can handle this. Oh my God, this thing's so, how's this thing so goddamn strong? That's crazy. Ooh, I can't get into the middle one. I didn't have to get an extension for that one. All right, so it handled the top bolt. I got an extension. Got it from Harbor Freight. Pretty happy. Let's do this. Oh shit, that thing's in there good. Alright, so that bottom 19 is actually in there pretty tough, so I have to bring out the big boy. And if this one can't do it, then I have no hope whatsoever. If I can get it in there. Oh, that thing's in there good. Wow, that was a rusty ass fucking bolt, dude. Holy sh I'm gonna have to get right in there. That's fucking rusted to shit. I don't think that's What it broke it? Oh shit. But it looked rusty as fuck. What the fuck? Let's get the other one. This one looks rusty. Dude, no. All right, we're gonna get in here with the uh, right angle and see if I can get these off. I know I can because this thing can definitely handle it. But just look how easy it is to get into this little confined area. That's why I wanted to get the fucking the right angle. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna see if I can try to tackle the sway bar link. I honestly hate sway bar links just because they're so hard to take off, but let's see how bad it is. What? It did it that fucking quick? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it came out. Sweet. All right, with the Husky. Let's see if it'll even break that. Nope. Nope, not that kind of. Can I wrench it at least a little bit? Can it won't break it. it actually feels really solid. Uh oh yeah now this thing's rusted out. Yeah no oh man that thing's rusted to shit. What about this one? Yep, rusted too. Damn these things are rusted to shit. Well I can definitely use it. It's got a solid feel to it. Sweet. I'm actually really happy I got this. This is really... Besides it being super, super fucking rusty, I can get in there. Might have to get an extension for this bad boy. It looks a little straight.
slipped out anyways. Oh, does not want to go in there. Kind of hard to do this shit with one hand. Let me lock it so it stops going off on its own. Yeah, no, this thing's stripped. It's still pretty fucking rusted, though. There we go. Sweet. That's why you need an impact wrench for certain situations. Because if the impact wrench all else fails, the ratchet's still pretty fucking good. This thing is sweet. Oh shit, yo, this thing is. Alright, I'm gonna see if the cold ball can handle a crank bolt. I got this crap all over the place. I can't even get in there. There we go. Crank bolt. Let's see if it works. I see it turning a little bit. Damn, this thing's fucking strong. Ooh, shit. God damn, that thing's on there good. Son of a bitch. I see it turning it a little bit. All right, so that crank bolt's on there pretty good. It's rusted on there. The freaking cobalt can not even take it up, but I'm assuming it's just freaking rusted on there. I'm gonna try it with the Milwaukee after the uh, cobalt just uh, loosened it up. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, it's not even moving. All right, I'm gonna try to give this crank bolt one more time a chance with the cobalt. I saw it moving a little bit. It looked like it was gonna break it out, but. God damn, dude, this thing's on there, good. Yeah, no, that thing's rusted on there. Wow, epic fail. All right, so all in all, it wasn't too bad. It was just, you know, couldn't find any parts, the ones that I needed. That sucks. CRV is so hard to find parts for. It's not even funny. This place is like stripped out, but uh, I had to had a lot of fun playing with the tools, new tools, old tools. So besides that cramp bolt that gave me a hard time, I was pretty freaking happy with everything that was going on with these tools, especially that little husky. Definitely can't wait to use that for another project. Either way, I'm going to close this video out. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Take care.